Good day, everybody. Mike here at Game from Scratch. And Godot 3.0.3 was just released. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, 3.0.3, that doesn't sound very exciting. And, well, yeah, you'd be right. It's not the world's biggest release by any means at all. This is definitely a maintenance release. But there is one huge feature in there that makes this newsworthy and noteworthy. So, thus, I created this video. So, what exactly is in the Godot 3.0.3 release? Well, as you can see here from the um, maintenance article, which I will, of course, link down below as always. Um, this one is primarily about maintenance, but there is one huge feature in here and one huge feature not in here. The big one is you now can export C Sharp based projects. And there's a reason for this release being released as it is now. I will get back to that in a second. But this isn't a full blown C Sharp export. You can only export your games out to desktop platforms. So if you're building a C Sharp game in in uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, you can now export it for those platforms. Now, mobile is still coming. Uh, it's somewhere in the future. And the other major feature that didn't make it into this release was the recently discussed APK fix. Now, a couple of months back, Google started rejecting, or maybe a month back now, Google started rejecting certain Godot games off of the App Store because of the way the APKs were signed. There is a workaround to it. It's a standalone tool. I think they've, yeah, they've linked it right here, but that workflow has not made it into Godot yet. That is coming in 3.0.4. Now, another very, very, very important part of this release is this little notice right here on the download page. And they should put this in bold, really big capital letter bold. Because if you go to the Reddit forums, you will see there is a whole lot of comments about this is crashing a whole lot for me. And that is why. Basically, you need to have the most current version of Mono. Well, actually, not the most current version because I'm on 5.4 or something. But you need to have 5.1 point. Yeah, 5.1 2.0 installed or Godot is going to crash outright. So if you are installing the Mono version of Godot, do be mindful that you also need to have a current version of Mono. And this seems to be biting people in the butt a little bit on Mac platforms because apparently in Brew, the um, package distribution system for, um, you know, basically downloading SDKs, etc. on Mac from the terminal. Well, it seems like the most current version of Mono available is older than what is required here. So if you are on a Mac, you can't just use Homebrew to get the most current version. You'll have to go and download it yourself. So do be mindful of that because apparently it is causing Godot to crash outright. Now, if you are not using the Mono version, just completely ignore. Uh, just make sure you download the right binaries and you are off to the races. So that is by far and away the biggest thing of this release is the uh, those new exports, but there's also 350 patches were pulled into the release including a new universal touch to mouse translation system and a whole bunch of other stuff so you see here we've got the mono exporting to desktop platforms works again desktop platforms only um, universal translation of touch to mouse uh, pretty uh, print tree pretty I like this actually what you can do now is print out a tree of nodes and it will print them nicely uh, in a nice graphical view um, makes it easier to debug your node hierarchies uh, especially if you're starting to create some dynamically vector 3 round vector 2 round and vector 2 seal methods were added dynamic fonts can now have a hinting mode set restored purchase feature for iOS audio stream player audio stream player 2d and audio stream player 3d now have a pitch scale property which is yay wonderful because I just did my audio tutorial Hmm. Uh, there's show origin and show viewport settings to the 2D editor. You can now set Godot's window as always on top. Uh, and print FPS option to print FPS to standard out. You know that little black window that runs in the background when you run Godot? Well, you can run print out the FPS ratings to it. And then there are a number of fixes, uh, including several GLTF fixes, which I'm kind of excited about because GLTF ultimately is the future of bringing 3D assets into the Godot engine. So nice to see improvements in that area. Several crashes, etc. Now, do keep in mind, once again, the APK fix is coming in the next version. So if you are trying to create an Android binary, you still have to use the manual tool linked at the top of this article. And no known incompatibilities with 3.02 and 3.01 and some with 3.0. And there are some bugs. So uh, we will uh, keep you. Uh, so vector three snap, move and slide is currently broken, etc. Again, I will link this entire page down below. But the summary is uh, Mono Desktop now works and there's a reason for that and that is because they have an upcoming game jam and they wanted to have people that are creating games for it then using Mono to obviously be able to export their games out. So if you are interested, the Mono game, sorry, the, not Mono, the Godot game jam starts on June the 15th of 2018 which is dun 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 
tomorrow. My God, I should know what day it is. I feel bad about that. Anyway, so there's a good dope game jam is starting in one day, one hour, and 41 minutes. And now, if you are interested in using C Sharp to develop your game for this, that is an option available for you. And that's about it for now. Again, not the world's biggest release by any means whatsoever, and I will link the details down below. Uh, but it is cool to see that C Sharp support to 3.0 um, is coming along pretty quickly. And uh, hopefully that 3.04 release does fix the Android stuff once and for all. And we are off to the races. But again, I'm going to stop with a reminder. If you are using the mono version, make sure you get version 5. Point whatever that was, 1.4. Uh, that, that, that one, two, make sure you have that or you will experience crashes as everybody else has. All right. That's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.